Can I trust browser extensions? Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for askleo.com. Let's get right to the question. Is it true that you can't trust browser extensions because they'll grab your data when doing things like online banking? Naturally, the answer isn't a simple one. I mean, in a way, there's a simple answer. Yes, browser extensions can access your data on any website you're visiting. The real question is, do they? And that's a question that really boils down to one of trust. As an example, when you install the LastPass extension, a very popular password vault, one that I use myself, it, along with other password vaults of a similar nature, asks for a large number of permissions. And among those permissions are the ability to access your data for all websites. Yeah, that means they can read the page. They need to be able to read the page to know what page you're on, where the password goes, where the login name goes. In being given access to that, they actually have access to all of the information on all of the web pages you visit. So if you're banking and you used a tool like a password vault to log into your bank's website, yeah, if they wanted to, they could look at your banking information and slurp it all up. They don't, at least not the reputable ones. I use LastPass, for example, all the time, including logging into my banking website. LastPass is always on. It has access to all the data that I view in my browser all the time. And they don't. I trust that they don't. Let's face it, for a company like LastPass or any of the other password vaults, if they were suddenly found to be slurping up sensitive data that they shouldn't be, that's a business ending situation for them. It's just not going to happen. So I trust reputable companies to do the right thing, use the permissions for what they need to use them for, and not ask for permissions they don't need. Now, you can see which permissions you have granted already in most browsers. Let me show you really quick in Microsoft Edge exactly how that works. So you can see here we are in Microsoft Edge. This happens to be Windows 10 Pro. We'll click on the ellipses in the upper right and then click on extensions. Now here's a list of all the extensions that I have installed on this instance of Microsoft Edge. And sure enough, here's LastPass. And if I click on details, you can see that there's a fair amount of information about exactly what it has access to and not a little bit about why. The one that matters the most is this one. Allow this extension to read and change all your data on websites you visit. And it's not restricted to sites. This one is for all websites. This is necessary. Like I said, this is what LastPass requires in order to do the job we're asking it to do. Fill in passwords for us. Other extensions, certainly other password vaults are going to require similar permissions. But the real question is, do you trust the extensions that you're installing? That's what it all boils down to. If you don't trust the extension that you're installing, don't install it. It's actually very simple. On the other hand, if your extension comes from a reputable source, like a LastPass, then you can feel secure that they're only going to do what they say they're going to do, even though they have access to much more. Let's face it, this level of trust is something we already grant. We grant it to the people that write the web browsers. We grant it to the people that write the operating system. We grant it to the people that write the device drivers that send our data from point A to point B. All of these people have ways, I suppose, of actually accessing the data that you look at in your web browser. And they don't. We trust them not to. So make sure that you're only installing extensions that you trust from sources that you trust, and you should be fine. For the article on which this video was based, for any updates, comments, related links, and more, visit askleo.com slash 127410. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.